Hello and welcome back to this new puzzle. Today I'm going to share with you two beautiful setups on Bitcoin and Ethereum. So let's go on with the first one. The first one is Bitcoin. We are going to use a simple range trading strategy considering how the price is developing. I'm explaining in, in a simple example what a range trading is. Most of the time when we look at the price developments it tends to make up and downs up and downs. So this is the base scenario for the range trading. In this situation we can never know how many times the price will test the lower part of the structure that is called the support area or the lower or the upper part of the structure that is the resistance area. So as long as the price is developing within, within two points, we know it very well where the price may face the resistance and support and where the price will move next. So if we see the price to come close to the support, we can see that the buyers are well positioned at this point and they will push the price higher every time that price come close to our zone and all the time that price moves higher we will see the sellers that are positioned on the upper part of the structure. So all of this momentum that is created within this pattern, this is also an accumulation process, it creates all of these up and downs. The bigger it is, the, the stronger the breakout is above this area. The breakout in this situation can be on the upper part of the range and also on the lower part of the trading range. So it doesn't matter where the impulsive wave is coming from. We are approximately in the wave situation you don't have to be obsessed to find very clear examples all the time. So I'm taking this area for the lower support part of the structure. You'll see that on the 4 hour chart Bitcoin found the first support close to 18,500. We can see that this support area was found again here and look at how many times it was tested on the past. Look at how many times. So this is showing that there are many buyers that are positioned below this point, 80,500. And to make it more clear, I'm going to include also the shadows of the candlesticks and you will see that it comes at 8,200. For the upper part of the structure, I'm taking the upper part of this zone. As I said also before, it doesn't have to be perfect. And here we have our zone where the price tested for the upper part of the structure. 20,150. Let's keep it this year, the first one. So this is the first price the first zone where the price will face resistance and the upper part is 20,300. This is our reverse uh, resistance zone where the price will face the strongest resistance. So let's say that only within these points we can see that we have a well-defined area for taking profit several times here. If I'm going to extend the area, this is a collection of data, it gets more interesting when we see that this area has been very strong also on the past. But what is happening right now? Considering that price is testing the upper part of the structure, we can assume again that the price may come down close to the bottom part, close to 18,000 but it can also stop within this dense area, close to 90,000. 
The second assumption that we need to do right now, because the structure looks that it is accumulating volume and price already did a new high here, it's a small shadow, but it should be taken in consideration because it is showing that the, buy, the buyers are increasing a lot at this point. Once the price will bounce and it will close above 20,400, above our resistance area, the next target will be the upper part of the structure. So it looks very interesting how Bitcoin is actually developing right now. The first target, the upper target that I really like is 22,500 and 400 at the upper part of the structure. And if you don't want to miss the movement, if you want to take premature profits, I'm going to delete this. You can also take a target somewhere on the left structure again. So it gets very interesting how Bitcoin is developing. Also today when DXY increased, Bitcoin showed it to be strong and it didn't give up. So chances are higher for the bullish movement. Once this will be broken, we are going to look at for the bigger picture. However, for the moment, these are the next two targets for this movement, 21,200 and 22,500. Also during the previous analysis on Bitcoin, it was shared when it was on the lower part of the structure, not this analysis, it was this year. This was shared on September 28th, so it is dating back seven days. And if we are gonna see here, price already reached the first target. It was very nice movement, it was reached before. As you can see at this point, it came down and it gave us another possibility. So basically it was a double profit here because we closed at the first one and at the second one. So let's see how it may develop again. The next one that we are going to look at right now is Ethereum. I will make a brief presentation of the benefits of the Whitebit crypto exchange. Whitebit is one of the largest European cryptocurrency exchanges. What is really surprising about this broker is that they possess European exchange and custody licenses. Whitebit meets the KYC and AML requirements. That means that you will have reliable protection of assets and their securities. You can also make passive income from your money even if you don't intend to invest in certain time periods. Earn up to 30% of passive income on Bitcoin, Ethereum and USDT. These interest rates are impressive compared to other brokers. They have also low trade rates up to 0.1%. You can trade more than 450 trading pairs and their referral program offers 40% revenue from referral trading commissions. If you want protected funds and earn more passive income, you can open an account via the referral link in the comment section below. Another beautiful range trading movement. Price was developing in this part for the range trading. We are again on the 4 hour chart for Ethereum. You will see that we had the support on this part. And the support area show it to be strong several times. Look at how many times the price tested this zone. So this is proving to be very, very strong at this moment. 1260 is a very good target. Price is moving higher. As you can see, the first zone is already reached at this point these are the areas where we have higher chances to close profits if you bought at the bottom however the strongest one that the price will face right now will be close to the top of the structure this is what i am looking at right now for ethereum we need a stronger momentum and a stronger breakout on ethereum this is a zone that i want to point out 1,325, 1,398 or 9, uh, 1,400. So price can 
uh, test the resistance zone and it can come down again because we are going to have very strong selling pressure here or what may happen is that we can see the bounce above 1,400 and after that the price will increase more. Uh, my expectation for the bullish movement if price is going to bounce because I want to see the breakout here it will be very interesting after this breakout I would like to target this part of the structure 1500 it will be a very good zone very good target considering that it is also a psychological price zone and also the top of the structure 1750 60 something like that so this is what i would like to focus on ethereum as well however what is important right now is the base of this structure that is still making up and down if we are going to have any bad scenario let's say bearish the price should break below the support area and after that it can decrease further from this point so hope you guys enjoyed this analysis for today on bitcoin and ethereum i would really appreciate not forget to subscribe and press the like button for more future content bye bye